My name is Doug Lamblom. I'm a beef cattle specialist at North Dakota State University at the Dickinson Research Extension Center uh, in western North Dakota. We're doing this video as a part of a integrated cropping system and that integrated cropping system is part of a SARE project. This is the first year of that SARE project in which we are evaluating, very long-term study actually, only SARE is funding it for three years, but this is about a 10-year project. And we are in the first year of the study. This particular project integrates beef cattle production and crop production. Um, as this camera goes around and takes pictures of the integrated cropping system, we have fields here that are 4.3 acres in size. The crops that are involved in the diverse cropping system are sunflower, spring wheat, um, triticale hairy vetch, corn, and the cover crop that's, uh, that's growing that you'll see in the video is, is one of the other crops that we're growing here. The, the, uh, the beef cattle production and the crop production are split as two forms or two streams of income in the project. Our cash crops are spring wheat and sunflower. The field pea, the, uh, the field pea uh, barley is one of the grazing crops. The corn that I'm standing in could be a crop of grain corn or silage corn. This is a 90 to 95 day uh, forage corn. And this corn will be used for grazing. And the cover crop that you see in the video will also be used for grazing, but probably the last crop. We will graze the field pea barley crop first. These swaths where the cattle come in here about the third week of August. And then once that crop has been grazed off, the cattle will move into the corn. And when they have grazed off the corn, we would expect somewhere around 70 days of grazing out of this corn crop for uh, cattle that would be destined for, uh, for uh, the feedlot. And then once they finish in this corn field, They'll move into the cover crops, and at the end of the cover crop grazing, then those cattle will be transferred or moved to a, a, a feedlot where the grazing period will be relatively short, uh, like 70 days perhaps, before they go to slaughter. And by using this integration of crops and extended grazing, we're able to uh, reduce the cost of feedlot production and to take advantage of our crops here at home in developing and producing high quality beef. And of course the cash crops in the project are the sunflower and spring wheat. And so we'll give you another update uh, as these crops continue to mature. The spring wheat will be harvested in a couple of days and we'll have another report on our yields of spring wheat from this diverse cropping system. Uh, this is Doug Lambert reporting from the Dickinson Research Extension Center in, northwest, in western North Dakota.